we've got a rehearsal today, it's an, an exercise and uh, whereby we will be given a position somewhere on the range where there is a, a, a fictitious casualty and we'll fly out to that position on the range, land, assess the casualty and uh, make a decision on where we transport, whether we transport them to a, a military medical facility or whether we transport them to Rockhampton Hospital. So it just goes over someone's head and under their arms. So practicing together when you've got multiple different forces who are trained in different ways is critically important. And actually it comes from aviation, the importance of communication in crisis. They call it crisis resource management. And so that's why we run a practice like today. It's so that our linguistics and our vernacular and all the words that we're using match up with all the army and defence force words, match up with the layman terms that you're saying when you've had an injury yourself, just talking to the doctors directly straight. Basically, what we get to do is we get to have a run at talking to each other and learning what each other needs. And my needs as the doctor are extremely different to the needs of the pilot. The, the two ports of information just for us are important to articulate with each other. And then I've got my medical, medical uh, decision making with the army treatment team and with the medic on the ground with limited information. So getting used to the idea of interprofessional communication is extremely important. And at the end of the day, if it can save a life and if it can speed something up to the point at which they make it to the surgery and they have the life-saving intervention, it's all going to be worth it.